Hey everybody, Max Kevin here's Little Cute Podcast. It's not too long. Oh, bad. Right after the 400th episode, I uh, I missed a day, you know? I missed a... Missed yesterday. Oopsie, sorry about that, you know? And I was kind of feeling shitty yesterday. I was like, ah, oh, I got nothing to talk about today anyway, you know? My life's fucking boring, you know? No one wants to listen to me talk about my boring life. It's like, oh, today? You know what I did today? I, I sat in my room. I sat in my room, everybody. Oh, uh, you know what else I did today? I, I ate dinner. My life is so interesting. That's why you're listening to me talk about it on the Little Cutie Podcast. I had dinner. I ate some hummus. I ate some carrots. Anyway, uh, yeah, you know, so today I've just been, uh, you know, I've just been getting some, uh, getting some emails, you know, from Amazon. God, try to upload a new cover to one of my books, and it's like, it's like, your cover doesn't match the metadata we have on file, you know, because I, like, added, I added, like, a little dash, a little dash in the title of the, uh, of the cover, and, uh, the, the title of the book doesn't have the dash in it, so they sent me this email, it's like, you need to... We can't approve your cover because it doesn't match the title exactly. You know, it's like a no reply email, so you can't even reply back to them and just say, fucking publish it. I don't fucking care. God damn it. Just publish the fucking thing. What do you, who cares if it has the fucking dash, you know? But it's a no reply email, you know? So you can't, you can't actually talk to any of these people, you know? And they're like, they're like, they sent me this other thing. They're like, the border. The border is too narrow. It doesn't go around the the whole front cover. Well, it's because it's not meant to be a border, okay? It's just a box. It's just like a box that frames the... It's not supposed to be a border, you fucking idiot. I can't tell you that, though, because you don't let me reply to these emails. There's no way I can convey this message. Maybe on the next cover I upload, I'll just, I'll just write the title of the book is This is not a border, you fucking moron. Why don't you just approve it, Okay. Don't, don't fucking mess with my artistic expression, all right? That's how I want to express myself. I don't, it's not a border. It's just a square box around the title to, you know, put a little emphasis on it, okay? It's not a fucking border, you know? Anyway, so I, uh, I made the borders wider and I deleted the dash, you know, because, uh, it's really the only way to, to get the cover approved, you know, because you can't communicate with them at all. Fucking Amazon, man. I'm trying to buy some headphones on Amazon. The other day, and it took me like an hour just to figure out which ones weren't fucking scams from China, you know? It's like, God damn it, Amazon, what are you doing, man? You got these, you got all these, all these headphones, they got like 10,000 reviews, and they're all fake. They're all 10,000 fake reviews for headphones, are you joking me? It's got, like, none of the, none of the headphones were real, they're all, they're all fucking knockoffs. Like, every single one of them. I had to go to like the fifth page before I finally found that one. That wasn't just a Chinese scammer, you know? I can't imagine. There's, there's so much of that on Amazon, you know? So much fake crap. That's going to be their downfall, you know? Everyone's going to be sick of this fake... Everyone's going to be buying stuff on Amazon, but then it's all going to be fake shit, you know? It's like, God damn it, the quality's products fucking suck. That's why we got to go to the store and look at them. Of course, I bought these other headphones at a supermarket. They were uh, knockoff Apple headphones that have been spray painted blue, blue glitter. Uh, I only bought them because my other headphones broke, and uh, you know I was waiting. I'm waiting for my Amazon ones to come, so I was just like in line. I was like, oh hey, I'll just five bucks. I'll just use these. And they were pretty much the uh, they were the they were the dollar. They had these they had these same headphones at the dollar store in Japan, and uh, yeah, someone just like uh, basically uh, repackaged them and spray painted them with blue glitter. And the blue glitter like. I've been taking, I'm only wearing these things like a week and the blue glitter's falling off. And I'm like, I'm looking at the earphones like, well, if it's rubbing off, it's rubbing off in my ears. Is this lead paint? They're putting lead paint in my ears? That is the blue glitter lead paint's rubbing off in my ears? Oh, God damn it. God damn, I'm going to get some disease now, you know? I'm going to get lead poisoning from the $5 supermarket headphones. Uh, I guess I guess you get what you pay for, you know. And uh, I think the same thing goes with Little Cutie Podcast, you know. You get what you pay for, and it's free, so so no complaining, all right. No complaining when I'm talking about eating carrots for dinner, okay? That's how. That's my day. That's how. That's 
That's what this podcast is. It's me talking about my fucking boring life. You know, anyway, that was a few minutes. Thanks for listening. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow.